Esophageal achalasia, is a failure of smooth muscle to relax of the lower esophageal sphincter, which can cause the lower esophageal sphincter to remain closed. Lack of peristalsis of the esophageal smooth muscle incomplete the lower esophageal sphincter relaxation, increased tone of lower esophageal sphincter causes achalasia. Achalasia is the most common neuromuscular disorder of the esophagus. Characterized by modal age distribution. Occurs in those 20 to 40 years old. Also occurs after 60 years of age. Men and women are equally affected. Achalasia represents risk factor for esophageal cancer. Clinical findings in achalasia include dysphagia, difficulty swallowing for solids and liquids most common complaint, occurs in 70% to 90% of cases. Nocturnal regurgitation of undigested food without an acid taste, 75%. Chest pain and heartburn, 50%. Nocturnal cough from aspiration of regurgitated food. Pathogenesis. Normal relaxation of the smooth muscle in the lay is caused by nitric oxide, no. And vasoactive intestinal peptide, VIP. In achalasia, there is incomplete relaxation of the lay. Loss of myenteric, arbok, plexus, MP, and loss of ganglion cells, GCs, are associated with a patchy inflammatory, autoimmune, response consisting primarily of T-cells. Chagas disease may cause acquired achalasia. Other infection also increase risk of achalasia, include herpes infection, measles infection. The most potent risk factor in the development of achalasia is Allgrove syndrome. Diagnosis is reached with esophageal manometry and barium swallow radiographic studies. Barium study shows a dilated, a peristaltic esophagus with a beak-like tapering at distal end and dilation of the esophagus. Fluoroscopy shows a lack of peristalsis. High-resolution manometry, HRM, is the gold standard for diagnosing achalasia. It shows detailed colored pressure recordings. From the pharynx to the stomach. To diagnose achalasia, explanations like cancer or fibrosis must be ruled out. Achalasia can happen at various points along the gastrointestinal tract. Achalasia of the rectum, for instance, may occur in Hirschsprung's disease. But esophageal achalasia is most common. Treatment, surgical cleaving of the esophageal muscle, heller myotomy. Some lifestyle changes are needed, eat slowly, chew very well, drink plenty of water with meals, and avoid eating near bedtime. Drugs used are, calcium channel blockers such as nifedipine and nitrates such as isosorbide dinitrate and nitroglycerin. However, these medications often stop helping after several months. In balloon, pneumatic dilation, the muscle fibers are stretched forceful inflation of a balloon placed inside the lower esophageal sphincter. But it has perforation risk. Pneumatic dilatation causes some scarring which may increase the difficulty of heller myotomy if the surgery is needed later. Incidence of achalasia has risen to approximately 1.6 per 100,000 in some populations.